Today, we will be extracting data from TikTok using an unofficial API in Python. This is a library written by me, however, it is utilized by quite a few people and I continue to maintain it in the future. So first off, I'm going to create a virtual environment. And to do this, I already have virtual ENV installed, so I'm just going to do virtual environment. I'm going to name my environment ENV, and it's going to create that real quick. If you don't have virtual ENV installed, you can just do pip install virtual ENV, and then you will have access to this command. It is now done. I'm going to activate this virtual environment by going into it by typing cd env slash scripts, typing activate, which runs a script, and now you can see that env is in front. It signals to us, the user, that we are operating within this virtual environment of Python. From here, I'm just going to do pip install TikTok API and hit enter. Okay, after we have installed TikTok API as a Python package, all we have to do is type python minus m playwright install. This will install a headless Chrome browser that the package will use to actually retrieve this data from TikTok. It may take a little bit here, so I'm going to skip to when it's finished. Okay, now Playwright has finished installing. I'm going to simply create a new file. I'm just gonna call it test.py. We can just simply do from TikTok API, import TikTok API. From here, I'm going to define a variable called verifyfp, which is just going to be a blank string for now. And then API is going to be TikTok API.get instance of custom verify fp is going to be equal to verify fp so to get the verify fp value we just have to navigate to tiktok.com so here is tiktok.com in chrome we just simply click the padlock at the top go to cookies tiktok.com cookies svweb web id double click that and then copy the entire string we can close that and then verify fp we just paste that value in the Verify FP token seems to expire around two hours from when you first generate it by going to tiktok.com, or if you make too many requests, they seem to throttle it. You can circumvent this by, at the time of writing this video, this works. However, I cannot guarantee in the future that this will still work. So you just simply type in use test endpoints is equal to true. So this makes requests to TikTok's test servers, which do not check or expire these verify fp values as frequently and the data seems to be the same as their non-test servers at least for now so from here we can say like tiktoks is equal to api.trending and then let's just print tiktoks and then we can run this and as you can see in a few seconds here we will have the trending tiktoks in a dictionary format so this is an array of dictionaries. So if I want to print all of the authors, we can say for TikTok in TikToks, we can print TikTok author unique ID. And if we run this again, we will see all the usernames of the people currently trending on TikTok. Here's all the usernames that are trending on TikTok right now. This is a very powerful Python package and you can do a lot of interesting things such as downloading the actual videos from TikTok. To do this, we do have to change our code slightly, so I'm just going to import string. I'm also going to import random, and then I'm going to have to define a new variable which I'm going to call the did or did, and this is going to be equal to a blank string of join random.choice from string.digits for num in range. 19. Now we have this variable which we want to pass into the constructor of the method by doing custom did is also going to be equal to did. And then from down here, all we have to do is simply, I'm just going to download one TikTok. So I'm going to say video bytes is going to be equal to API get video by TikTok of TikToks zero as I'm just passing in a single instance and we are good from here actually we're not we have to write this somewhere to write this to a file all we have to do is with open test.mp4 we're going to write bytes as o for output i'm going to write video bytes and then i'm just going to run python test.py 
as you can see in um, the project directory, we have a test MP4. And here is Will Smith's video trending. It's got sound, I just don't want to like play copyrighted sound. So that's why it's on me. There's a lot more you can do with this TikTok API. And in the description of this video, you will find the project's homepage, which has a list of all of the current methods supported. Hopefully this Python package will be useful to you. And if you end up making a cool project, feel free to email me or show it to me on LinkedIn or something like that.